I've said it before and I'll say it again. Great moments are born from great opportunity. And I truly believe GameStop has an excellent opportunity and is truly one of the most underrated investment opportunities of all time. Of course, always do your own due diligence, right? Always do your own research. Don't just blindly follow what I say or anybody says on the internet, right? It's really, really important to do your homework. But if you do believe in the stock, I think there's a great story that's just being told in real time. Though the you know, mainstream media and dumb money's out now, and I'm sure it'll tell the story, although I haven't seen it yet. Oh, it's over. It was that one off crazy thing, right? That one thing that happened that one time, right? Everybody just got all together and just GameStop. Yeah. When it's really so much more than that, anybody still involved in GameStop is truly invested in my opinion and not trading. Whereas at the point of January of 2021, it was a time period where everyone was trying to get in quick, make a quick buck. Oh my God, to the moon. Boom, boom, boom. Fast, 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 right? And that is still kind of the story that's told. Whereas anybody that's involved in GameStop, how I see it at least, is in it for the long term and where the company's going as a whole over time. And they're not in a rush, right? And it's allowing individuals to like the stock to continue to accumulate shares. And on top of it, insiders are continuing to accumulate shares. And of course, everyone's wondering, is Ryan Cohen gonna buy shares again? Maybe, but just the threat of him even buying shares, if you're betting against the company, you have to be thinking like, oh, every time this guy buys, it's such a positive reaction, right? And then even when he doesn't, you have individuals that like the stock that are buying, insiders that are buying, and you have a company that's truly turning around and in not the best economy on top of it, they're nearing profitability. And I really think margins are more important than revenue. Larry Chang also recently alluded to that in a recent tweet, not that it necessarily had to do with GameStop, but it really just kind of reminded me, I'm like, yeah, like looking at revenue improving, that's great. But if margins are improving, that's much, much better. And it goes a much longer way in the long term. stupid bugs. But yeah, and really also I wanna say one more thing, like never forget, I'm just an individual who likes the stock, right? And I'm no different than you. Like I'm not some like financial guru or some, oh my goodness, I cracked the code, let me tell you. I'm just here to document my journey as a GameStop investor and my own ride. And I really encourage everyone document in your own way, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be videos, just write what you want to write, or even if it's for yourself, but just keep bettering yourself. And that's something I like about the whole movement around individuals like GameStop is I feel like anybody still involved with GameStop at this point truly has educated themselves further over time on subjects outside of GameStop, such as market mechanics, macroeconomics as a whole, and various different things that are going on in the world that it's like, wow, that's how this really works. And yeah, I just love this journey. Um, thank you guys so much for those that are subscribed and those that watch. I appreciate you all. Have a good day.